here I am in the garden to praise the Lord with you. Emmanuel, God is with us. My first little chatty summer videos growing peppers people think grow peppers in the sun they need all the sun they can get peppers need warmth more than they need sun so if you have to choose between your sunniest spot sorry y'all that was gas I'm a mature woman these things happen I can't let it get me down <laughs> but if you have to choose between a a sunny spot and a warm spot choose a warm spot they can take a little shade if they get more warmth in fact I am able to get peppers earlier by having them in warmth versus like if I have one in Sun up until it gets warm enough it's not going to set fruit but as soon as it gets warm enough it'll set fruit they start to flower um, pretty quickly actually once they get a certain time they'll they'll start going for the flowers and it may not be warm enough for them to set fruit so yeah I just wanted to give you that little tip and I'm gonna share my peppers that prove it to you you can see my shishi toes better now too this is my Japanese Brian pepper I picked it but I picked it in the sunny part of the day because I needed to eat that's how they look. It is dripping with pepper. And this is after I picked it. I'm gonna try to put all those clips in the same video. The plant grows like a tree. I missed one. I like to keep this one picked because it, it bears so much fruit. I missed more than one. Okay, so. In that sun, I couldn't catch him off. Okay, that's not a pepper there. That's something else. Okay. So these are shishi toes. And this one grows much better in the partial shade. You get fruit out of it. It gets just as big in the partial shade as it does in the sun. So if you wanted to grow a pepper plant, a frying pepper plant, in the partial shade, I would go with shishi toe. I personally prefer the taste of Jimmy Nardello's. They get sweet. These do not get sweet. These, if you let them get red, they get hot. Not real hot, but they get spicy. Not hot like a jalapeno, but hot. Whereas the Jimmy Nardello's, if you let them get red, they get sweet like candy. So that's my preferred one. But this one is the easiest to grow in my area. <laughs> so there it is. Which pepper is the pepper if you don't have a whole lot of sun? You can grow peppers without having a lot of sun. You got to keep them warm. And by warm, I mean 70 degrees. Somewhere between 70 and 90 for sweet peppers. And for hot peppers, you can go as they can take hundred degrees I'm told I really don't know because I don't have a hundred degrees but I know that hot pe peppers are easier to grow than sweet peppers and I would also say if you have cooler weather try to grow Asian peppers they have a lot of hot peppers in Asia and those peppers are used to a little bit cooler temperature and they are very productive peppers too okay that's today's snippet I haven't seen fluffy in a long time just saw a baby that's not old fluffy fluffy had a fluffy tail and was fat that one's a skinny little thing so fluffy's okay check out my hot peppers these peppers have been green for months now i've had peppers on this since um april it's June now. It's, they look like this now and they're getting bigger. They have this little tip 
And that's the tip that lets you know that you're dealing with a hot pepper. Probably a really hot pepper. Normally. So, I don't even know what this plant is. See, it's got that little tip on it. I've only seen that tip on hot pe peppers. But you guys, this plant was ran over by a tree trimmer and the peppers were growing like this. So I thought I had a super hot because when you see the tip to the side like that and it's fat, that's a super hot. But now that the plant has recovered from its stress, they are long like jalapenos. And it's dripping in peppers. This plant is again, from last year, I didn't plant any new peppers yet this year. I am growing them from seed right now in the month of June, and hopefully I may get them planted in the ground by August. Next topic on peppers. Do you want a lot of peppers or do you want big peppers? Yeah, it's that time of year. Happy Independence Day, everybody. Yeah. Do you want a lot of peppers or do you want big peppers? Bell peppers will grow big but they don't give you very many peppers. There's a lot of other great sweet peppers like my Jimmy Nardellos that are delicious. They taste like candy. They are great frying peppers. I mean, bell pepper has a wonderful um, herbally texture when it's green and it gets some sweetness when it's red, but it's not very productive. And it also can be a little difficult to grow. I don't know what we did to bell peppers, but they are a little difficult to grow. I haven't come across easy bell peppers. They have some bell peppers from Italy, and I'm thinking they might have some easier old-fashioned bell pepper because we did something to the genes of bell peppers that, you know, you they it can be not worth even growing the peppers. So I just wanted to discuss that to you. Look into other sweet peppers. Um, I highly recommend recommend my Jimmy Nardellos. I'm trying out Marconi's this year, see how they are. And I've got some banana peppers that are supposed to be pretty good. I've never tried those. Those are all very productive peppers. And if they are delicious, you know, it's just very rewarding as a home gardener to have plants that bear a lot of fruit. I promised you I would come back to Marconi when the light would let you see how big the peppers are. See, the pepper is curved there, and that's the, this is not Marconi, this is Jimmy Nardello. This is my favorite. I used to buy this at the farmer's market, and the lady hasn't come back. I loved buying them from her. Even though I grow them, I don't grow enough. I, I can eat all of these in one sitting. Yeah, as a fry dish, they're so good. But just so you know, they can grow um, five inches and they curl up and create strange shapes. You see them? Trying to keep the ends off the ground so that my pill bugs don't eat them from me. Now I have another one in the back. That one's not doing as well. So I think these don't do good with partial shade. It's still got fruit on it, but the plant's smaller and the fruit's smaller. So, hmm. Jimmy Nardello pepper, it's a really good pepper.